Hi everyone, this is Wendy. I am doing a just another little bit of ephemera for Aunty Vera Scrap and Craft this month and I've just turned the camera on thinking oh, you forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> no, well I forgot, I did forget to turn it on because I've just been sitting here having so much fun with the stencils in in the items that I received this month. Uh, I think it was last night I was scrolling through YouTube and I started watching uh, Sonia Steptoe make some altered paper clips where, um, where you don't get that paper clip you know this the part of the this part of the the paper clips not showing okay um, so then I decided to I thought oh I like that idea and I decided to Google uh, not to Google to search it in YouTube and I seen that treasure books Natasha from treasure books had made some um, had made some as well. So I got um, when I was scrolling through uh, some of the search hits that came up I got to about a year ago and I seen this awesome video from Spe Spectrum Art slash Maddie sorry guys that's the wind we've got some really really gale winds outside but anyway I got to a video about 12 months ago that said spectrum art slash Maddie and they called it no snag hidden paperclip embellishments and I thought oh I love that idea so there are quite a few videos on YouTube about these um, hidden paperclips so I'm just going to show you what I've done so far I'm using the Tim Holtz um, stencils that I got and I've got one done here so that's the front and that's the back so and they just slip off your paper like that okay so that's what it is and then when you go to put it back on if I can see what I'm doing can just open that up a bit and slide that back down there so this one would be for the top of the page your journal page and this one here would be for the side of your journal page and I've just put one of my vintage labels on the back of that one so I just thought these were just so easy and so simple just a little bit of stenciling on the front with the pointy finger on this one and then I've just drawn a black line around the outside and done a few little squiggles just to jazz them up a bit so that's the front of each of those ones and on the back oh, I've put a um, a fob watch just image there and then on the other ones I just put some of my labels so that was the first lot I done which I thought oh I like it I like it and then with the other stencil that I got this month um, this is the word stencil uh, it doesn't actually look like that I've got masking tape over the words that I, was, I didn't want to use so these are these ones here so on this side there's explore and then on that side is travel so they would go on your journal page just like that how cool is that so I've made two four five here explore journey adventure and the journey and adventure and then on this side here I've got travel world the journey explore and the journey okay they they're just so easy to make and I think they look awesome so after I had done those I was going through the paper pad and I still had like a sheet of these they're three by three aren't they Wendy 
yes, three by three squares on one of the papers, and I thought, oh, let's see. So what I done was cut um, left two papers together, two of the squares together, which then could just be folded over like that, and I ended up making these ones here. So work out where these are more top loading ones okay so I've got this one here and that one there and this is another top loading I made them so um, these ones would be top loading okay so that's that one and that's there you can do a bit of journaling on the back you can put more embellishments on them but I just really wanted to to leave them plain but they go on there so so easily and they really hold with that that paper clip in in the center that one's pretty cool and this was the last one here so that just slips on there like that so I just thought okay I'm going to come on and show you my version of them because I know Natasha and Sonia have got their version as well um, and this one here my inspiration actually came from Spectrum Art okay so I thought I might I won't use that one I'll use these two here with the numbers on the front and that on the back so I'm just going to cut off this top one here just like that keep that for something else and then fold that over okay so that's the outer side of that one now you do need um, some kind of paper for the inside so all I'm going to do is just mark that that's the bus out there and the school bus I should say um, blade and I'm just going to cut this this is just a piece of my thin mixed media paper um, it's maybe a little bit thicker than fool's cap paper so I'm just cutting this down to the same size as as this one here and I'm just going to fold that in half now I have been inking around the the three edges on this not that you really see that much because this is going on the inside um, the inside of that one there but I still do it because then I know it's done <laughs> but you don't have to do it and it's mainly to take a little bit of that um, the, the bright white color off so from there then I just grabbed on this one here I think I might put a smaller paper clip but I didn't bring any of the small ones in I only brought two big ones in that's okay I'll use the big one because it doesn't really matter um, so then you just put your paper clip right in the center there get some owl I just stuck my finger with the needle Get some wet glue and go right around the outsides because you don't really want the outside, the, the sides of it coming up. And I do put a bit of glue over that paper clip too, just so that it will hold in place when it's dry. So I've done that side there and then I just grab that like that and do exactly the same to the other side of this I think these are just such a cool idea I'm 
Okay, so I've got enough glue on there. And then, um, this is going to be the front. So I'm just going to place that right in there and up as far as I can. There will be a little gap because that's a big paper clip. So it takes up about an eighth of an inch up the top. But you want to press that paper clip right up to the top there. And then you just fold this down on top. So you've more or less sandwiched you've more or less sandwiched that white paper inside this here. So I'll just go around the edges and you may have to just trim off a little bit of the bottom here because when I cut it I didn't allow for that like eighth of an inch where the top of the um, the paper clip is okay so I'm just going to just carefully trim that off across here just like that and then I do put a little bit of ink around the edges okay and I'll do it for this one too and just to make sure that they're going to dry properly I will just grab um, I, I would have grabbed a bit of scrap cardboard but I don't have that in here oh yes I do there um, then I just grab a bit of scrap cardboard and just open that up and press it straight on there because you don't want to get like any glue seepage that's going to keep that closed. How cool is that? I just love this idea. I really do. And what I've been doing, I just grab a, a thin marker and just go right around the outside drawing a line and then I just do a few little squiggles on my line okay just like that and you can use this like you can use the inside of this here for journaling on or you can just decorate it however you really want and I'm just going to leave that one like that okay so um, that's how easy it is. I might actually put, where are my little um, vintage labels? I might have another one in here that goes with that one. Um, I don't have many left. No, I don't want that one on there. Maybe that one. Yep, that'll do. <coughs> So I'll just put a bit of ink around this. And that's from using the the 3x3 images from the Tim Holtz Dapper paper. Okay. And let's just put that down over here I think okay now and I don't have my I've got so much mess on my table I really don't know where anything is anyway <laughs> but see that's how easy it is to make now I don't even know where I've put them oh there they are that's how easy that was to make these ones here okay so so easy and they're going to look so cool over hanging over your journal page right so that's that one and this one here the the words I have got I just used some of my scrap cardboard and uh, I just more or less cut if they weren't at one inch, I just cut it to one inch. 
okay so it's one inch and I didn't really know how long to make it because um, of the words so you can measure the words on here for the um, for the length so this one here I might do expedition so I'm just going to cover up the journey and this is just some masking tape I have used over and over and I'm going to cover up that one up there so I can see I've got the word expedition so for this one so easy a little bit of black paint and I've got the Dean Wakeley um, black paint and sponge now when you go to do this you kind of like put it on your sponge but then you dab it off because on some of my words I did get a little bit overzealous with putting some paint on there but that's okay so then oops just moved up a bit just put my word on my piece my strip of cardboard and then just stencil that word on there and I really did wipe a lot of that paint off so that should be right now then lift that up so there's my word expedition and it doesn't really take long to dry and then I kind of like just fold that over to where I want to fold it so I've got just a little gap there and I know where the back part of the altered paper clip is going to be and the other word let me see what other word I've used quite a few of them okay I'll use some um, I haven't used Wanda yet so I'll just turn my masking tape over so that I can see Wanda and just lay that down there about there um, I think I've got enough black paint on there I'm not sure so I'll hold that just like that and just I might have to get a bit more paint I think or I may not we'll see so I'm just going to put the Wanda 365 on here because I haven't used that one yet okay so that should be right okay so that's that done okay and you really just have to oh that was that was a bit long so what I'll do I'll just press that up slightly just so that I can get the 365 there okay that's better so I will just cut off here so that it's even okay and I'll just press that fold over a bit firmer hopefully that wander is dry now okay and I've got another strip here that I'm going to use for the center so that's going to go about there and I will just snip that off for the length and just ink up the edge got that done and I will just put some ink around here um, you can normally you can do this after you've glued it all together but while I've got this in my hand I just thought I'll do it now uh, 
okay then grab my paper clip and put it over here just down there like that make sure it's pretty straight and then just add some more glue on the outside of these and also a little bit on my paper clip so that I know it's going to hold and then turn it over and put some more glue on this side isn't that wind wow it's getting worse Okay, and then all you have to do is just open this up and just push that right up to the top there and just make sure that's centered a bit better and then just press that down. It really doesn't take long at all, even with the stenciling of the paint on it just going to trim off that bottom edge there and put a bit more ink around here give it a good press together <coughs> and what did I do with that other one? oh here it is over here <coughs> and then just slip that on there and let it dry properly okay so really so so simple and then I have been going around these words just with the lines giving it a very rough type of border like that one there And there's that side done expedition and just do the same over here just draw like a very rough wiggly line you can draw it straight if you want but I'm just choosing to just let myself go and draw it squiggly and then just a couple of little swiggles around there and it's done how cool is that okay that is just awesome I just love the way these turned out and you more or less you just do the same with this size here okay uh, using the the Tim Holtz um, the finger one just make sure um, because you've got one, two, three, four um, in different different directions. Just make sure you put some tape up so that you don't get it. Um, you don't put your paint through the bottom of the top image. Okay, so that's what I've done there. But that's it guys, so easy, so simple and I think these just look awesome. So thank you to all the ladies that gave me inspiration for this one. And then those ones there are from the the 3x3 paper out of the Tim Holtz dapper paper as well okay so that's it I hope you enjoyed those I did I just think wow they are so cool they're gonna look so great in journals I really really feel that they will okay that's it thanks everyone hope you enjoyed this very fast easy little project I think they look great um, yeah and even these ones here from the the dapper paper like you can go and put you know cogs on or clocks or anything else you want on there but I just thought just you know something simple 
and basic because you know most of the time we get really carried away with just trying to embellish um, embellish too much okay but these just look awesome I think they do I think they look just absolutely fabulous okay that's it guys thanks for watching you all have a great day stay safe stay healthy and I will catch you later bye bye